Welcome to week four of English 101. I am so looking forward to reading your thesis statements from last week. I'm going to get my feedback to you by the end of the week, so please take a look at my suggestions. Um, as you well know, you should be writing two different essays, one through the assignment section of the classroom and one through the forums. I will be checking to see that there are two different topics there. So please be aware of that. Now also, please make sure to look at my comments to you about your discussions, a thesis statement, and about the assignment thesis statement as well. For the assignments thesis statement, I will be checking to see if you've used my comments with your final version of that assignment. So it's very important that you look at my suggestions to you. This week, we're going to be discussing the essay, uh, the body paragraphs of an essay. So there's a couple of things that we're going to be discussing. First, your audience. Second of all, what uh, consists of a uh, body paragraph, and third, the semicolon. So let's go ahead and quickly go through the audience. So basically, this section of the essay shows you how you need to vary your writing according to who, whom you plan to write it for. So for example, the essays you'll be writing for me in this course uh, will have an academic tone because as an English professor, I can't help but look at the tone of your essay. I don't want to see anything informal. I want you to write as though you're a serious writer, a serious college student, and so your tone needs to be serious um, and academic. Now, um, along with that though, there are certain topics that I know nothing about. And so you need to consider me as an average person. Okay, someone who's educated, but not educated in the topic that you're going to be writing about. So you want to make sure not to underestimate me. And one way to underestimate me is to define obvious words, but you don't want to overestimate what I know. So for example, if you're writing about vehicles, well, I know, I don't know a lot about the makeup of vehicles. I just drive them. So you need to make sure to define those sorts of terminology to me. So anything that sort of ha, ha, is consists of jargon, right? Jargon is certain professional terms. You need to make sure I'm clear about that. But for me, I am looking for an academic tone, but your best buddy, your emails will be informal and friendly. So just consider the audience when you write something. All right. So the other thing that we're going to be discussing today, and the Tupperware analogy is a little confusing in my opinion, but basically you want to make sure your paragraph consists of one topic, all right? You don't want to mix topics together. So it's kind of like just like a Tupperware bowl. You have only spaghetti in a Tupperware bowl. You only have cherry pie in another, I guess, a Tupperware bowl. It's the same holds true for paragraphs. You only want to discuss one uh, idea at a time in a paragraph. Now I'm going to go through what, uh, I want to give you a little graph before we continue. So I'm going to pull up a Word document here. All right. So I want you to read this obviously, and we're going to be discussing though within the body paragraphs as well, um, the topic sentences, the evidence and support and the concluding sentence. But one thing I want you to notice is this, and this is an interesting idea for an essay. You have an intro, obviously. You have a conclusion, obviously. And then you're going to have three body paragraphs, right? Obviously. Now, at the end of your intro will be your thesis statement. So remember, it's your topic, your persuasive point, and I'm just going to call it persuasive, but it's your persuasive point, and then you're going to have the topics one, two, and three that you're going to use to prove this point. So you're going to have three body paragraphs. One body paragraph will be about point one, then you have point two, and then you have point three. You need to make sure it's organized in the same method as your thesis statement. All right? So then you're going to have a conclusion, and you're going to kind of restate the thesis, right? So points one, two, and three. 
Now, we're just going to talk about this this week, but I want you to notice something. You have, I like to think of an essay as kind of like a hamburger. So the intro and conclusion are kind of like the bun of a hamburger, right? The stop, it's, what hold, it's what's holding the whole sandwich together. And then the body uh, paragraphs are the meat of the sandwich, okay? Or maybe the hamburger patty. So the same holds true though for your paragraphs. You have an intro sentence, you have the meat of the paragraph, the ideas proving the intro of the sentence, and then you have the concluding sentence, okay? So just like your essay has the intro and conclusion and the meat, your body paragraphs are gonna have the same thing. Now, the intro is called a topic sentence, right? So you're gonna start each paragraph with a topic sentence. The topic sentence will have a transition, your topic, and you're going to bring it back to that persuasive point. So I'm gonna show you an example. So I'm gonna say, um, first, that would be your transition. Pers uh, point one shows persuasive point, right? That would be your topic sentence, and then after that you have your meat, information, and then you have your concluding sentence, okay? This is why point one shows persuasive point. Persuasive point, good grief. Then it's the same with two. Also, point two uh, illustrates that persuasive. It's whatever you wanna say there, but you need to have transition mention your point and show bring it back to your thesis so transition your point within the thesis statement and then shows how it proves the persuasive point all right and it also again is similar to a, an essay because it has the intro then it has the meat which is what you use to prove the topic sentence, and then the concluding sentence. I don't know if that helps you, but I do want you to think of the essay like a hamburger, but also the paragraphs are like mini essays. They're kind of like hamburgers too, and that's what this is discussing. One more thing. This uh, section says a hint at the topic of the next paragraph. Yes, you can do this. You don't have to but you do have to include a topic sentence. That is key. So let's look at the next thing. Oh, and also you need to uh, go through this. This explains citations and how to uh, create an in-text and a works cited citation. Basically, anytime you use an outside source, anytime you use someone's words or ideas to prove a point, you need to cite them. And so this section is critical in showing you how to cite. But when you hand in your essays or you hand in your body paragraphs, I'm gonna help you with that as well. All right, finally, we have the semicolon. The semicolon is most often used to combine two sentences together. So let's look at this sen sentence uh, right here. You're gonna read it, so I don't need to rewrite it. Um, so that you have two sentences there. And so you can combine the two sentences using a semicolon. Well, it doesn't say here, but basically let's copy and paste it because it's not giving you the sample. So I'm gonna put it right here and just ignore my dog who's barking. You want to combine the two sentences using a semicolon. Do you see how that works? So you have a complete sentence here and you have a complete sentence there and you just simply need to combine the two sentences if they kind of go together with the semicolon. There is one more way to use a semicolon as well. And uh, basically what you do is you can also use a semicolon to combine items in a series that contain commas. You won't do this very often, but it is good to know just in case you have this situation where you have items in a series with commas. Well, that's about it. You have two uh, assignments due this week. First, you're going to upload one paragraph 
for the topic that you're using in the discussions area of the classroom. And then you are handing in three paragraphs from the essay that you're building through assignments. With the assignments uh, uh, Word document that you're uploading, let me know which one you want to grade. However, you're going to upload all three. I will give you feedback for all three, but I will look uh, closely at the one paragraph you want me to grade. If you don't let me know which one, that's not a problem. I will just grade the first one. Okay, I hope you guys have a great week. I'm looking forward to reading your assignments and your discussions, and I shall talk to you soon. Bye.